Hey, man, Wyatt, what's up? Look out! The guy's got a gun! <laughs> hey, stay, stay in it, Terry! I'm Wyatt with Action VFX, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get shot in five minutes for five credits or less. First step is to bring our footage in the After Effects. Once you have it set up, scrub to the first moment of impact where you want to get shot. Now we're going to spend our first credit on Blood Burst 1 from our Blood Hits collection available at actionvfx.com. We're going to drag that in, scale and reposition it to where we want. It's a little too slow, so right click, go up to time, and enable time remapping. With keyframes set at the first and last frame, you're allowed to drag them closer together and trim the fat in order to speed it up. Now we're going to go up to effect, blur and sharpen, and add a directional blur. Angle this in the direction the blood is flying, and then increase the blur length to something you're happy with. On top of that, I add another blur effect, this time being a radial blur. Reposition the center over the center of your asset, change the type to zoom, and again increase the amount, using these two effects in tandem to get the blur you want. Then we're going to spend our next credit on Blood Burst 16 from the same Blood Hits collection, and reposition this over our Blood Burst 1. Repeat all steps from before, this time adding a levels effect to both of your blood hits. Go up to effect, color correction, and levels. Playing around with this slider on each asset will allow you to tint them each different shade so that the blood has a bit more depth to it. After that, we're gonna drop a third credit on a Blood Mist Front 3 asset from our Blood Mist Volume 2 collection. However, you can pull a Blood Mist asset at no cost from our free Blood Mist collection, which you can check out in the link below. I drag this in, reposition it, make my time remapping adjustments, and then I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard to bring up opacity options and bring this down to 62%. For the second gunshot wound, I duplicated my current asset and dragged them up. And then I made slight adjustments to the scale and rotation so it doesn't seem like an immediate duplicate effect. Finally, we're gonna drop our last credit on Fabric Squib Hit Front 4 from our Fabric Squib Hit stock footage collection. I'm going to drag it in along with the include matte layer that allows us to separate the wound and shirt in order to adjust their colors individually. We'll drag the pick whip for the track mat of the squib hit up to the matte layer and by clicking these two boxes you can adjust what you want to be isolated. Then we'll duplicate these two layers and move them up and readjust the check boxes so that one layer is the bullet hole while the other is the fabric. You may need to do a little masking as well to make sure just the wound is isolated. Then we'll go up to layer, new, and add a new null object. Then we can shift select all of our fabric squib layers and pick whip their parent and link to the null object. And we'll click here, which will enable everything as a 3D object. Now using rotation and position options on our null object, we can readjust everything to line up where we want it on our shirt. Next on the fabric layer, we'll go up to effect, color correction, and add a hue and saturation effect. We'll check colorize and drag this to adjust the color of the fabric. Then with the wound layer selected, we'll add a levels effect and drag the RGB slider in order to achieve the brightness we want. Double check that this is all underneath your blood layer and then line up the first frame and readjust the positioning so it all lines up. Now the issue is nothing is tracked in. To fix this, we're gonna create another null object and then with our base footage selected, go up to animation and track in Boris FX Mocha. Open Mocha and using the pen tool, draw around where you want to track. Analyze either forwards or backwards and make adjustments where needed. Then save your data. Exit out and go back into Premiere, create track data, set the target to your newest null object and hit apply. Now duplicate your fabric bullet squib layers and place them below the other blood layers so that you've got your second bullet hole. Make sure to enable motion blur and then as one last little touch, I'm going to go up to layer and create a new solid. I'm going to make it an orange fiery color and hit OK. Then I'm going to set the blend mode to soft light and trim it to start one frame before the bullet hit and last only one frame after. Then I'll adjust the opacity so it's not as harsh and click the stopwatch to allow me to enable it to decrease over the next two frames. Just like that, we're finished. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what tutorial you'd like to see next. Don't forget to head over to actionvfx.com where you can access our free practice footage library packed with cinematic shots to help hone your skills. And remember to follow us on social media so you never miss a new product release or video drop. So what are you waiting for? Start creating and I'll see you on the next one.